Hey, hey, hey. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I just wanted to come in for a little bit before I uh, finish what I'm doing here. And I wanted to, you know, just take it Friday. You know, it's an open topic Friday. Uh, figure out what to talk about for a little bit. Just finished my, uh, packing my backpack. I wanted to say, everybody, help you having a great friggin' Friday afternoon. If you're Friday morning in the U.S., hey, good morning, good morning. Hope you all having a great time. I was going to go outside and do the live show for a little area, but we'll take a poll and see what happens. You know, you guys let me know what you'd like. Would you like the pool area? It doesn't freaking matter. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up on the way. And if you like, and if you don't, give me the thumbs down. Uh, you guys are welcome to ask me any questions, anything at all, within reason. And if you're going to come in here and think you're funny, I'm pretty sure you're not going to make the outcome of what's going to happen when you get this thing called blocks, bitches. You know, it's the God-given right uh, of what we can and cannot do in our chat. So hopefully, again, you're all having a good time. I'm leaving at 6 o'clock. I thought I was going to leave at 5, and I thought it's better for me to leave at uh, 6. You got lost the nomad, word to word to the big fucking bird, lost the nomad. Uh, hash TV Gaming, how you doing? And you got travel freely. Woo -hoo! Uh, let me see. Who is... Uh, uh, they see you're in California. Hash TV, I am not. I am in Cebu, Philippines. Uh, I am in Cebu, Philippines. Um, it is one of those things that uh, I will eventually be going to California. I have a friend that lives in California, not MJ. MJ doesn't live no longer in California. I have another friend, and then I got another friend that lives in Seattle, Washington. So I will be visiting both locations. Uh, Travel freely. I hope you're having an awesome day. Loss, I hope you have a good morning. I think it's Friday morning. Yeah, it is Friday morning over there. So you're definitely probably getting ready for work. Uh, yeah, Lucy. <laughs> it's about Nico. Yes, it's about freaking Nico today. It's it's about travel freely, Nico loss, and uh and 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 all the positiveness that we get. <laughs> Travel, I'm leaving in the morning. I'll be doing, I'll be posting from here on. I will be posting at the moments, guys. So that means I'm not going to be able to, I'll be doing live shows, but I'll be doing them late at night when I'll give you guys a heads up. But from now on, I'm posting the shorts, the TikTok, the Instagram, and my uh, and the clips. Uh, I will do them at the moment from now on, you know? Uh so just in case, guys, it may be this this trip this weekend will be different. So it'll be random. So be you know keep you know guys, if you really like the content, look out for it. You know what I mean? Um, you go in twenty four uh, twenty four hours, bro. Uh, you never, dude. Honestly, I'm I actually am going to mount my phone on the the uh, the scooter, and I will. I'm not gonna. I I have to mute it. I have to mute it, guys. Uh, what do you think, Travel? Uh, hey, guys, give me some feedback. Remember, I am doing StreamYard, so it is a little different. It takes me a little second to see the comments. I'm not, uh, uh, I got, I got, a, I don't have a second phone. So if you guys give me a little minute, remember, just, you know, if you comment. Um, what do you think, Travel? Should I strap on the freaking bike and put on the phone? Because uh, I use it for GPS. So I could go live for a little bit of while, you know, for a little while. And uh, it just won't be for, tw I mean, 24 hours wouldn't sound like a bad fucking idea, though. It really wouldn't. I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to do 24 hours on YouTube. I think I'm only allowed to go what? Uh, guys, you guys probably know more of the regulations. Uh, live is okay, better. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll do that, uh, travel freely. Uh, I got I got plenty of data, so I have plenty of reception. Depending on the, uh, remember, uh, when I get lost, travel, uh, and everyone, I end up going, I go in the mountains. You know, even when I went to the cockfights and stuff out there, it's really bad in the mountains. It's not it's not that the reception does doesn't work. Well, it doesn't, but it's because of the trees and the density of where I'm at. That is what kills it, guys. Uh, extra YouTube cutouts. All right. Twelve hours. So you know what I'll do uh, if once I settle in tomorrow, I'll go I'll go like four hours, six hours. We'll try to I mean, I'll stay live. 
I have a power bank that I carry with me. It's got a long wire. Uh, strap ons can be very nice. I agree with Big E. I mean, I wouldn't want to have me somebody strap on to me and give me uh, what is what do they call that? Uh, Big E's gonna remind. What is a uh, uh, actually GoPro can connect to cell and use it that you know that is a good idea i do have the gopro thank you lots i got them both here thank you and i got the app i got it connected and you got ever get a 360 you can uh ride and show the back side you know gava uh Big E ha has one and he told me to get it uh i'm not gonna lie ever i i'm i very uh i I came economically. I try to put little things away. I should have planned that before. When I get back to the States, it's something that I'm going to organize because I use my cell phone for practically everything. And it works pretty well for, you know, for, for uh, you know, for, um, uh, for, you know, the, the, the videos and the audios and stuff. But I think it's uh, definitely a good idea to do the 360. Uh, I am going to invest on the 360. Just at this moment, I can't, but thank you for that idea. And I got to tell you, Big E has one. I think he's got the little 360. It is phenomenal what this thing does. And so I, I got two older GoPros. I never really invested in uh, anything newer than a camera. Uh, but again, it's one of those things that I, you just said a second. Like right now, you're the second person. Actually, you are the second. He was the first. And I, have, uh, I had already thought about it prior. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, and it won't be here on this trip, but uh, Ava, it will be on the to-do list when I get back and I'll do a video thanking both of you out, you know? Mm. I'm going to tell you, man, I want to thank, uh, I know Lost is going to be like, I fucking told you. Uh, I want to I wanna thank the haters. I got to thank the haters because they made me so much better um, at being who I am when it came to YouTube. Uh, there will be absolutely nothing <laughs> that will ever uh, kill my fucking vibe ever again. And I want to thank you, everybody. Give the everybody. Let's uh, take a quick three or five seconds and give uh, the haters an applause. So that thank you, thank you, thank you very much, haters, for opening the doors to the bigger possibilities of how far I can go. And I'm gonna go fucking far. <laughs> So enough about that. Uh, I spoke to my family today. I, sp I spoke to uh, some friends today uh, mm -hmm. in the U.S. And uh, uh, you're covering some uh, territory lately. Good on you, Negro. You know, Abba, I can do better. Uh, I know I don't want to push myself too far. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, Abba, it's one of those things that you either can do it or you don't. And, and I notice uh, I don't want to be that, that person sitting in a house. I mean, I don't mean no disrespect to nobody. That's how people want to do things. That's fine. But I can't be that person sitting in a, a, a room, sitting on a table, sitting in a kitchen, sitting in, in the patio, just sitting back and doing nothing when there's so much to do. Because I know, Abba, it's going to get to a certain point where I'm not going to be able to do that. You know, I mean, may, God forbid, I hope I can. You know, God forbid that something may happen. And, and uh, you know, God willing, I'm able to go out there, Abba. But, you know, I was on a bus ride for four hours, Abba, and I said this, I think, yesterday or the day before. Abba, my fucking, uh, there's a joint in my knee. I actually have to get up every hour, even if the bus is rolling, um, and walk around for like or stretch because my freaking knee, just sitting there for four hours, it fucking kills me. Uh, I kick myself every day for not filming, uh, just uh, talking in, in myself. Well, I'm going to tell you, Abba, it's never too late. You live here. You, you have a good life. You got good family. You got good, good surroundings. I mean, you got family members that, that are really well connected that they can go out there and even send you. You can actually have them take videos while they're out there and send it to you like on messenger or anything. And you can actually use that as, as, uh, as well. Uh, Maria has been sending me uh, videos of her at the, at the market and stuff. I'm actually going to post it and say my friend said that there's a lot you can offer, Abba, especially being here this long. You can offer a lot of good content to people uh, that may just are too fucking stubborn to, to see the reality of what's going on here, you know, and it, it could happen anywhere. Uh, you bring a lot of good things. I mean, even the conversation uh, that we had that day, it, it gave me a lot of insight. 
you know, and knowing that a man of your stature, because let me tell you, guys, Abba is not a pushover. He's well done here. He's 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 connected himself very well, has good family found, they good people and good uh uh let's just say he's well well done here. Uh and he can offer a lot of help, whether it's advice, whether it's direction, whether it's anything, anything. Uh, and, and as well as Big E, 10 years have been here, uh, as well as people that have been connected here, uh, especially Filipinos, like Maria and the women that I talk to. I mean, people that are well connected, you know? Uh, and again, Ab, it's never too late. I, I would get it done. I would de definitely get it done. Um, I actually upgraded my storage, uh, my cloud storage to three gigabytes. I don't need that much, but I don't want to lose any footage and I can erase it as I go back, you know? Uh, and I only pay $10 a month. You know, uh, I could have I could have gotten a memory card. That's like what, uh, ten dollars a month. Um, I want to down. I, I got this new one that if I uh, if I keep it for three months, uh, they drop it down to five ninety nine a month for three gigabytes of storage. Uh, and since I got T Mobile, they give me a discount. So it's actually uh, after three months, it goes down to five ninety nine. So I'm paying less than a hundred bucks a month every, every year. Everyone's like, that's a lot. It really isn't if you're using it. You know, I, I lost a lot of fully of a lot of footage on memory cards because I had them here when I came in 2019 and then I lost them. I don't know where the hell they went. They could have gone anywhere. They're so small. I could have sworn I put them away. Maybe one day I'll find the footage. Maybe one day I won't. But uh, yeah, I, I got enough footage. You know, you got the Apple phone, you got the Apple cloud. You still got to pay for storage. And I think the storage is a lot. Again, a difference of opinion. I think the storage is better if it's in the cloud. You have access to it anytime, any place, you know. Uh, I will tell you, the uh, the best thing to do is uh, get started. Have a get started, my man. Get started. I want to say uh, thank you for Scott Expat in the Philippines. He watches my show committedly. Uh, him and his family. Uh, he's just a, just, a, just a good guy. You know, he lives in Australia. He's just a good all-around guy. I mean, I can say many things about him, but how many times I'm going to sound repetitive of, of good people, you know? Uh, he always shouts me out in his videos and thank you, uh, Scott. Uh, and I want to send a shout out to Ron from the future. He's doing, he's killing it in Instagram. Uh, I remember when we first started talking years ago and he's like, Nico, I was thinking to do it. And then he started doing now he's, now he's just killing it in freaking Instagram. Uh, and, and his YouTube, not just Instagram, and his YouTube, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I like when you encourage other people and you play a part in, in and people, uh, uh, you know, their, their their interactions with the things that they want to do, and they, and they, and it blows up. You know, it blows up in a positive way. So I give that a shout out. Give, of course, a shout out to Albert to meet me. Um, I give a shout out to uh, to a lot of people out there that, that are still encouraging you after so many years. You know, uh, and I, I thank you. I really do thank you guys a lot. So thank you. And like I said, tomorrow I'm leaving in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna say six. The only way I will leave anything later than six is if uh, Filipino time, because uh, I did tell her to have a good weekend. If she shows up and says, Nico, I'm on my way, then we'll see. But I doubt it. I, I will message her today and say, hey, you're not coming tomorrow, right? Because, <laughs> dude, she, guys, she has a habit of just showing up. Uh, oh, God, I wish I, you know what? I did. Uh, Noah, there was a uh, place that I went to. It was a not a golf course. It was a what do you guys call those things that like uh you know you go in? It's a club for you know it's a guys. You're gonna have to help me out. It's not a golf course, uh, but when you go in, you're a member of this uh, freaking uh, resort. It is a name for that. If you guys can. Throw a name out there, be great. Uh, and thank you again, thank you. Ab. I, I try to I get around as much as I can tomorrow. I get around, I get around, <laughs> I get around. Uh, if there was a golf course here and I was a lot in it, I'd probably I'd, I'd go over there and get it done. <laughs> I'd probably get it done. Um, a country club, there you go. It's a country club. It was a country club. Uh, thank you, Mike Ross. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I'm late, dude. You shouldn't even fucking be here. I was uh, I was doing my morning uh, constitution. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shit going around here too, Papa. <laughs> uh, yes, it was a country club. There is a lot of country clubs here. Well, not a lot, but I mean, a lot to me. One is more than enough. And there's a couple here. 
There's one in Bantayan. Mm. Uh, if there's two in Bantayan, I don't know. I only saw one. But again, I, I went to one. I was in one country club. I'll do the video later on. And they have one in Cebu near uh, Bonilad. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to have to take a video. Am I allowed to go in there and, and show it? Because if it is, I'm going to be like, I'd like to take some video of this country club. Uh, you know, I just want to see what it looks like. All right. All right. Hey, uh, Biggie, is there like a golf course here in the Philippines, like here in Cebu? Uh, if he, if hey, no, if he says, yeah, I, I'll definitely find out if I can do a day membership or something and go in there and uh, and, and take a video for him. I, you got my word. If I'm able to get in, I'll do it. I'll even throw the race car. I'm fucking Puerto Rican. You don't want to let me in here because I'm not freaking Filipino. Yeah. My name is Travel Freely. That's my fucking name. <laughs> I'll throw the race card out there, Noah, and get you in there. Uh, let me see. Travel Freely. Uh, what up, my good man? Yes, sir. You got. You guys are all good in here. You guys don't forget to give me the thumbs up or the thumbs down on the way in or out. You got Juarez. Juarez, we were not allowed to go near you when we were in, in uh, El Paso, Texas. Juarez was a bad influence, but I like him in here, though. Nico, uh, recommend the Yacht Club near the... Mi All right, there you go. Juarez, I am going to go to that Yacht Club. I want to go and do a video. Uh, you got my word. I think the Yacht Club, if I'm not mistaken, um, Juarez, is that the one on the left-hand side after Gaizano on the left-hand side? There's a bunch of restaurants there as well. Uh, my ex took me to one near Ayala Mall, swimming pools, nice restaurants. Uh, quite nice. Scotty, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to look into this first golf course and country club in, uh, in Ilo Ilo, uh, established on oh, damn, bro. You want me to go all the way to Ilo Ilo? Uh, go to, here we go. Go to the fucking Subic and the Yako. Yo, shit. I never been in the Philippines. The place is, uh, Korea almost two thousand. Uh, I'm going to tell you, Noah, if you've never been, I mean, I'm going to be honest. Popeye is going to kill me for this. I think you should at least try the main things. Go to Cebu. I would stay away from the most tourist attraction things. No, I really. Uh, oh, yeah. It's called. Yeah, it's across from the Marina Mall. Yes. Sorry, uh, Noah. Uh, yes, Juarez. I want to go there. I've been there. I actually been there uh, back in 2019 and 2017. Uh, Noah, it's a must try. You got to try it. You don't know everybody. Uh, this is my opinion. Everybody tells me how many of these people have been in the Philippines and they, they tell me it's places and they all tell me, Noah, stay away from the fucking, uh, the traps of the, uh, of the tourist attractions. Uh, Noah, most of my fun in some of the most beautiful places has been off the beaten path. It really, really has. Now it could be different. Let's just say, Noah, you work hard for your shit. You know, you work very hard and you're like, fuck that, Nico. I can't, I can't live in those. That's fine, Noah. Then go out to the Kawasan Falls, go to Boracay, go to Palawan, go to, you know, uh, go to the uh, guy, you, you know, if, uh, and again, I, I'm only, I, and I'm speaking to you as a guy, if you're a woman, then the same thing. Uh, but Noah, do you, you know, do you and have fun. But I, I really believe what Biggie says. I'm going to switch off from uh, Philippines. I want to switch off and uh, my next destination will be Thailand. I want to try it. I hear so much shit from Thailand, you know. Uh, do they still have the Playboy Club in Manila, Nico? Uh, you know, I'm going to tell you, uh, I did not make it that far, Popeye. Uh, I'd have to ask Biggie because Biggie is a member of that uh, of the Playboy Club because, uh, you know, he's a Playboy. He's got his big harem. I mean, I'm only trying to be the best of the best and trying to, you know, just be the best of the best and catching up to Big E is fucking hard. The Yacht Club, but stay away uh, from the booze cruise. <laughs> you know, Juarez, I didn't know they had that here. And I, when I found out that was it, I wasn't allowed to go. I was not allowed to go to the booze cruise. The week, it's, called, it's not called the booze cruise, guys, but Juarez is 100% right. You go on that ship, you going in, but if you're not careful, you're going to be carried out. <laughs> Uh, remember me? You said I would have a great time and uh, superstitious moment. <laughs> you were correct there. You know, you were it goes. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, Noah, uh, 
I take everybody's advice and, and I and I build my own portfolio and I figure out what works. Uh, you know what I mean? I work I do what works. Uh, you got people that will always say again, people will always contradict like not contradict, they will always criticize what you do, Noah. Uh, I'm not here to make anybody happy. I'm here to do what I can, show what I can the best way I know how in you know in, in every aspect. And if you do that, Noah, if you just but I would definitely do like 30 days one place there if you're if you can because people work i'm not I, I always speak and i forget that people work noah and everybody I, i'm i i am retired medically from the military for good reason but i can't speak like everybody has 30 days to go here and 30 days to go there i should always say make the best of what time you have uh papa had vip at the playboy club he went uh he went to school with hugh hefner i'm gonna tell you I'm going to share something that Popeye will probably be like, I can't believe you told him. But um, Popeye actually was, at one time, Hugh Hefner's uh, panty rack holder. He actually was the one that when Hugh Hefner was getting his groove on, uh, Popeye would ask the ladies, can you, you know, hand me your panties? That's why Popeye has a, like a big, uh, a big thing with women's... Uh, undergarments uh and he really 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 uh has a collection of his own he puts them in frames i've seen the frames in his sister's basement uh and he's got some really nice uh signed panties especially from pamela anderson so back then he you do the shit lots of popular tourist spots are popular for uh hold on sorry popular for reason just watch out for scams. See, I agree with loss. I just don't go to the popular tourist spots because, yeah, uh, he's right. They're popular for a reason, but they sell you that. I would rather go to the mountains in Bogo or go to the mountains in Katman and, and, and see the waterfalls naturally just and jump in the fucking water and have a great time. Then to have to go to Kawasan Falls and be like, yeah, it cost me, it cost you a thousand. Let's just an example, guys. I'm just throwing a number. Don't quote me on any of this shit. You know, I thought 500 pesos a person just to go in there and just be surrounded by a bunch of fucking people. And I, 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 I'd rather just, just go natural. You know, like free balling. You think I want to cuff my nuts because they just look? No, man. I don't know. I just want to go out there. And, and be free, man. But I can't disagree with Lasta. Whereas in the 80s, I was a regular at the Playboy Club in Manila. Nico, can you picture Popeye and Hector wearing the velvet rolls with the you know I can picture Hector telling fucking Popeye what to do? Looking at Popeye say, bitch, do what the fuck I tell you. I can picture. <laughs> uh agree, Lost. I love the popular places. See, Big E, he, he does. He tells me, listen, go here, boy. I'm not knocking these places at all, guys, at all. It's just not my cup of tea. You know what I mean? Like, I uh, lost so many, many beautiful places in, in, uh, in Colombia. And I went into the fucking, I went into the hills. <laughs> he goes, yo, you got to go to Envigado. I went just for a barbecue. And then I went out into the streets. <laughs> so I don't knock it. It's just not me. So I definitely, I, I have to be fair. I would definitely not be the guy to ask where the tourist attractions are. Because if you ask me, like, tomorrow, where do you think I'm going? I don't know. I filled out the scooter today, checked it out, checked out the helmets, checked out the registration. My ass is going to grab a fucking backpack and get the fuck out. If you ask me where I'm going, I don't know. But I can tell you right now, you're going to like the videos that I'm going to I'm gonna show. I'll probably have a collection <laughs> of centerfolds. Well, yeah, I mean... If he kept just as much centerfolds that he did the panties, he'd have a he'd be arrested because he'd probably put them away in places they'll never come back. <laughs> Last you've been hanging around John Doe too much. <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> Hector runs my house, Nico. I have lost control. You need to come home. <laughs> I told Popeye when I leave, Hector is going to call his homeboys. And he's going to be throwing little block parties on the weekends. And fucking Popeye has no control over Hector. Yo, he, he at first, Hector was speaking like Spanglish. Now he's speaking straight Mexican. And he'd be talking shit. And Popeye's like, yo, listen to this conversation, Nico. 
what is he saying? I was like, yo, man, I told you, man, he's trying to tell you that you don't run this house. I'm telling you. Mm. The other day, I got a message at Juarez from Hector by mistake. You meant to send it to Popeye. He said, where's my T-bone and mashed potatoes, bitch? I'm like, who the fuck are you talking to? He goes, sorry, wrong send. He was sending it to Popeye. He was telling Popeye to drink out fucking steak and potatoes. So that says it all right there, man. So you got to be careful with fucking heck the heck the fucking rules. No, no, listen, I really, and no bullshit, guys, I really don't know where I'm going tomorrow. I honestly don't know. Uh, but you will enjoy. And, and again, if you guys enjoy any of my videos, please go in there. Let me know what you like and you don't like. Because again, I'm going to post it anyway. But if I can improve on anything to help you guys experience this better, let me know. Like, really, let me know. You don't have to do it because I tell you. Do it because you really enjoy what you like. And if you don't, it's okay. I'm just trying to bring you better content all the way around. And the only way I can do that is knowing what you like and what you don't like. Mm. And again, the goal is not a bad goal. The goal is to go solo. I'm going alone. Uh, I cannot tell you if someone's going to show up. I really can't because uh, I I don't control I don't control that. Someone can text me tonight after the show. Say, Nico, what are you doing? You know, I'm all alone here, sitting by the phone here, waiting for you to text me. And I'm like, I, I could end up in Oslo. I can end up in uh in freaking uh. East West Bumper. I don't know. But I will, like I said, I, I know you'll like it. I know you'll like it. Uh, and guys, if you have, again, any questions, you guys have maybe watched any videos. If you have any questions, uh, feel free. I did get one question. I did get a, a comment on the tacos in the Italian. Let me tell you guys, everybody has a different cup of tea. And every Mexican restaurant that I have gone, at least here alone or with Biggie and the family, have not been uh, off. Actually, one was pretty good, but that was it. Uh, was not really, re the Mexican food here is not as good as it should be. But I will tell you, regardless of what people think of those tacos in Bantai, those tacos had a mango, a habanero mango pico de gallo with some really good slice of uh, a steak, uh, really good uh, serving for the size. It was really good, you know. It was really, really good. So, uh, if anybody has any questions or any bitches and gripes about the tacos, well, then go to Ventine and go to the taco place and make your own uh, judgment call. Because I can tell you, I eat Berria tacos. I go to Mexican restaurants. I go to places that are owned by Mexicans. I have been down in El Paso. I have had my share of freaking like this place is not bad at all. It says when you go, uh, when you go and you go find a new girlfriend, have sex with her and contract an STD. Uh, it will be great adventure. I'm gonna tell you, Popeye. Even if I'm with the girl that I that I hang out with now, I'm gonna get an STD and probably give it to her as well. Uh, the cheese sucks in the Philippines was my opinion. Yes, it does have everything tastes totally different here. Lost the cheese. Uh, even if I, I I treated myself last week to a bag of Doritos, it tastes so stale. Everyone says it's because it's old, Nico. No, it's because it stays in the fucking harbor for friggin' months. But just for the entry points, you know? Even KFC here tastes like shit. I mean, when Jolly Bee Sarsha tastes better than KFC, the only thing, even the burgers at uh, Burger King tastes different, and McDonald's, everything tastes different. I uh, read that they're talking down the perch soon. Maybe you can shout out your boy from there. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. I'm, Juarez, I'm everybody's boy when it matters. Only when it matters. Remember that. Uh, KSC tastes like shit everywhere. Lost. Why do you have to kill the fucking KFC kid? Bro, it doesn't. If you get yourself a chicken with mayo and pickles and hot, KFC fucking rocks. I mean, the Popeye sandwich is better. But come on. Lost. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Ay, hombre. Uh, but yeah, remember that, Juarez. <laughs> Not you, but I'm everybody's boy when it matters, you know?
me, I, I'm good. Like I said, I, I, I'm the meat and the fucking potatoes of fucking Cebu. I'm the meat and fucking potatoes <laughs> of the journey. Now, listen, we have fun. We joke around and have a good time. Uh, and we're going to continue. And tomorrow, remember, tomorrow's a different day. I'm posting the shit out of everything when I get it. There will be a really no. If I put something in storage, it's because I had no connection. I just had a pre-record and I record it so I can share it. Once I'm in reception, I'm uploading that bitch. You guys are going to see a different outcome of videos. So, again, if you guys don't get to catch the live shows or you guys are uh, like, damn, this motherfucker's just throwing out their videos. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do something a little different because I don't want them to sit there forever, you know? KFC does suck, Nico. Uh, Chick -fil -A. You know, you white honky motherfuckers are always talking about Chick-fil-A. You know, do you have any great thoughts? Uh, yeah, you know, I want to drink coffee like Biggie and do the pinky up. And I want to do this like Lars and pinky up. You bunch of fucking homos. He can fucking Chick-fil-A overpriced. Only white people fucking go out to Jersey Mike's. Fucking spend $48 for a patty and a couple of fucking pickles. Fuck that, you fucking people. Fucking eat real burgers. Let me see. Maybe one day I will try the Philippines. But I'm so freaking tall. I think I would be handicapped. Well, I'm going to tell you, Noah, I think uh, Biggie's 6'8 or 6'7. Uh, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, they'll correct me. Either Biggie's 6'8 and McFisher 6'7 or Biggie 6'7 and McFisher 6'6. Uh, Noah, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. I think you should try it. And I'll be honest, Noah, you I, again, this is just me being honest. If you're being serious, I'm not a rich guy. You let me know when you want to come. It's always good to have a wingman and have a great time. If you want to do things solo, it's great. I've been told that I'm pretty good company, regardless of the companies that people talk about and the companies they carry. And they talk about, you know, what they say about me. That's fine. Reach out to me directly. I don't mind giving you the heads up, even, even coming. And, uh, and, and, and once a week or twice a week, I can be here. And get, again, any way I can help you, let me know. I'm not trying to tag along and have you. It's nothing like that. I'd rather I'd rather hang out with somebody. Uh, I'm always here alone unless Maria's not working, you know. Uh, Butterfly uh, Talaga is the fried chicken to get in Cebu. I will try it. I have never heard. I honestly have never heard of that shit. I'm always the barbecue king. I always go out and get the fucking barbecue. Uh, but no, I'm really one of those people, you know. I really will help out as best. Uh, my next, uh, I think my next place, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be Mexico. I'm going to try Mexico for 90 days when I go back. And see, uh, I, I do not know, Juarez. I do not know. Uh, speculatively, I can tell you that uh, I didn't really pay attention to the to the equal size. I can tell you that they look pretty evenly matched. I can tell you, like size-wise. Uh, but I really didn't pull out of, you know, I didn't pull out a measure to. I'm going to say equally from visually. Remember, I got one eye. So, I mean, but I'm pretty good at what I see. And I don't think, uh, I don't think it was a big a gap, you know. Viva Mexico. Woo! Las putas, las cervezas y los maricones. And loss is in the maricones part, but it's okay. It's not his fault. <laughs> Popeye's in the one of maricones. Big E is in the one of Maricones group. Yeah, I think that's the group, the Maricones, the three of Maricones amigos. <laughs> oh, guys, I fucking love coming in here and joking with you guys for a bit. Uh, how long have we been on? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be on much longer. Um, but, guys, thank you. Thank you. I'll probably just be a few more minutes. I, uh, like I said, I finished my backpack. And I was actually going to go out. I really was going to go out. And, and uh, it's everything. It's popping outside, man. It's Friday night. Everybody's partying right now. I could go to any of these fucking places right now. But I, I got to leave in the morning. And that's a little more important to me. These places are going to be here when I return, you know. Uh, when I come back Monday, these places will be here. 
I'm still trying to figure out what to do. Uh, cojones? Did he say cojones? <laughs> Somebody said cojones, not maricones. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to figure out what to do for Christmas and do for New Year's. Uh, everybody's busy. I am one of those guys, man. I mean, I, I don't I don't like to bother. You know, I don't like to bother people. It's, and some people like, you're not bothering. I feel like I am, you know, some of these people have been here. This is their family. This is, you know, this is what they do. And I don't, uh, I, I'm, I'm humbled and, I, you know, thank you. You know, some, I've been invited to places. I just can't go. It's just, I don't want to feel like I'm interfering. I don't want to be like a third wheel or a thorn, you know. But I don't want to disrespect anybody and not go. So I want to plan something and then just go, you know, just do my own thing. Uh, I gotta tell you, I, uh, a lot of people are already fucking planning a lot of this. And me? I'm just sitting here waiting for everything to happen. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm talking to you and I'm actually getting uh, the baby wipes ready for tomorrow. I think I forgot the baby wipes. Um, I got the money put in stacks, you know. Uh, I got change. I got I got my little change first. I actually picked up the man first for change. You know, uh, uh, lost me an idea. I got the little metal piece that goes on the motor on the on the scooter that you can connect to GoPro. That is not a bad fucking idea. Thank you. Uh, and then I can fucking uh, I can strap on the fucking uh, GoPro. Like you said, strap-ons are really exciting. <laughs> They're really good to have. Let me see. Uh, come up to the northern Minnesota. I got a fishing and a hunting resort. I'll do a little ice fishing, smoke a little uh, happy smoke, and check out the drunken ladies in the ice shack. You know, Noah, I will keep, keep in touch with me. It would be my pleasure. I live in Florida. Uh, it, it'd be nothing but it, like I'd be humble to go up there and do it. Uh, viva, uh, viva senos grande! If you don't know what that means, you gotta ask lost. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I'm not a cold fan, but since you did ask, uh, I, I used to, I grew up in New Hampshire, in Lowell, and New Hampshire is right there, in freaking Maine, Vermont, and. Uh, all the fucking wooded areas in the snow and 18,000 goddamn below 18,000 degrees below zero and freezing nostril fucking hairs and the fucking and the and the spit in the air dude it's i well, i don't mind it i'd rather not do it but since she made it sound exciting because the best part is is the uh the drunken ladies in the ice shacks <laughs> uh nico do you pitch or catch <sighs> I mean, I'd have to say I fucking pitch. I'd rather pitch than fucking catch. I don't really work uh, uh, being a fishing. Me neither, bro. Uh, selling weed is not, and selling weed is not work. <laughs> well, it depends who you ask. No, it depends because the people buying it seems to think you're doing a pretty good job. <laughs> and fishing, bro, I couldn't catch. I, I, I have a better chance at catching crabs. Than a little fucking sunfish or a fucking little bass, bro. I just do it because it's exciting and it's something to do, my man. Let me see. Juarez says, any word when Kev is coming? You know, Juarez, that'd be something you'd have to definitely ask him. As far as I know, I got an email. I'm glad he's doing good. I, I heard that Kevin's in Daytona or he's been in, he went to Daytona. The important thing is that Kevin's out and about and doing his thing. And it, it, all it does is motivate people to do more. You know what I'm saying, guys? That is the key factor. If you're able to do it, do it. You know what I mean? I think it would be an awesome thing for people to just go out there and travel. And thanks to Lost and thanks to Popeye, thanks to Big E, thanks to a bunch of good people like make it my mom and my daughters, especially before anything. And I'd like to thank myself for taking the motivation as well. And the advice and going out there and, uh, and, and, and experiencing things that I, I neglect to want to do because I feel like, hey, you know, I had my chance at bat. No, nah, man, you're never too old. Get that shit done. Just, you know, financially put yourself in a position where, where, you, where you know you can get and do and do it. 
جو آخر ہی از بیگن حسین ہورا جو اف کورس ہی از ہی از بیگن فار دا سیم لسن ایٹ دی اینڈ اف دا ڈے یو کین ایدر بی ٹو کائنڈ اف پیپل یو کین ایدر بی دا کائنڈ اف پرسن دیٹ ویٹس فار سمتھنگ ٹو ہیپن اور یو کین بی دا پرسن دیٹ میک تھنگس ہیپن ام دی فاک I'll always be that person to make shit happen. You know why? Because when you sit back and you wait, you wait for the criticism, you wait for the the the, the backstabbing, you wait for the the negativity, the toxicity, you wait for everybody else's fucking opinion. You'll never get to live you. Because you're so fucking concerned, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years in the same drama, the same crap, same bullshit for what? What do you got to show for it? Nothing, man. Nothing. Nothing but a new court case and a new fight and a new headache. For what? For what? So that, it, it's sad that in 45 days, I've done, I, I've done more, more than a quarter of five or eight, ten people combined. So that says a lot, man. I, time to me is fucking precious. It really is fucking precious. That's that time you're not going to fucking get back. Do you, boo-boo, do you get it done? Think I give a shit what the next guy next to me is fucking doing? Hell the fuck no. You think I care that people talk about me and me? Hell the fuck no. Have I, have I gone down the rabbit hole? Hell the fuck yeah. Will I ever again? Hell the fuck no. Do you, man. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Noah, come out here. Have a good fucking time. You have any questions? Got my, I'll give you my email, man. Give you ideas. But do what Noah does. Do what Noah does and do it fucking good. I will tell you, Noah, one thing that has not changed here is you have to be careful. Unless you're coming with a wife or a brother or sister, you have to be careful about uh, the women here. You got to be careful. I don't care what anybody tells you. I don't care how many people sugarcoat it. Uh, no, you got to be careful. You really do. Uh, it's, a different, it's a different beast from Colombia to here. It's a different beast from the other countries that have been here to here. Uh, here, most of them, even if they're smiling at you, uh, they show a lot more respect than the ones that I've found. I've had my share and some of, some of the people are not this nice. But you can have a phenomenal fucking awesome time. But you just got to make sure you, 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 you're, you know, you are with someone you trust. Because every turn, man, someone's trying to make something off of you. But again, um, the women here, you just got to be careful, dude. Question, Nico. Hold on. Boss says, what is the biggest difference you've seen from last church to this one? Hmm. Tranquility lost. It's really relaxing. I had more fun in Colombia because I fit. I felt I fit in better because of the language. But then when I came here, uh, I felt more uh, relaxed. Uh, even though there's a, there's a, there's a, everyone says that they they understand the English. How they understand you is very different than understanding the language. So I have I have more fun here lost uh, compared to the Colombia, but again my fun was an all around package. I I could speak the language, they understood me, but there was more to worry about in other in, in my other trips. And here here it's just so relaxing. The only thing here is uh, is the women. So I had more fun here, but beauty wise, I, again it's again I'm sorry, lost. I wish I could answer it in just one word. Uh, but if I had, if, if, if to make it simpler, if I had to choose here or South America, I would pick, not because it just went, I think there's so much more in South America to enjoy. I really think so. I, I would, I would pick this secondary or even third before I come back here. Oh, wait. Okay. In the Philippines. Hey, Frosty, what's going on? As many women in Philippines tried to peg you, Nico. Yeah. The lady boys, they all try to peg you. They all try to peg you. And then the freaking the guys that I hang out with, uh, they're like, yo, try it out, Nico. I don't know. Fuck you. I'm a fucking stinking. Uh, and lost, you know me. 
I try to ask you that question in a way that I'd understand the little brother. <laughs> I think I think because Loss, I don't want him to think I'm avoiding his question. I think I might have overthought the fucking question, and the Loss is like, "You overthink things, Miko." Uh, yeah, man, Lady was trying to peg you hit all the time, man. Uh, good day, and then the Frosty. I don't know how long you'll be, but Frosty, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Honestly, thank you so much for coming on a Friday night. Thank you. Uh, Alva says, "I always trust the Pinoys." Uh, that ask is up to you on payments for uh, services. I, Ava, I agree. It's up to you what you want to pay, sir. <laughs> I fucking love Ava because Ava knows exactly directly to the fucking point what he says. It, it, Ava, I'm the same way. It's up to you, sir, how much you want to pay. I said, man, it's fucking free. You're asking how the fuck I want to pay. Ah, it's fucking, I'll say it's free. <laughs> But I was right. Yo, you get those Pinoys out here that says, it's up to you, sir. Man, that's like a field day. <laughs> oh, Popeye's like Frosty. Hey, hey, my good man. Guys say hi to each other. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and and again, enjoy the conversations in the chat. Guys, if you have any, any questions, I'm probably going to be here just a little bit longer, not too much longer. Uh, feel free. Feel free and ask anything. Uh, even ask questions of people in the chat, please. Um, but I'm still waiting on Lost. I'm waiting for Lost to word that shit. And, and I got no fucking shame in the way that I can. He can dumb it down and ask me, uh, you know, Nico, question one. Boom. Question two, Nico. <laughs> Nico, uh, tips. Handsomely. <laughs> Nico tips handsomely. I, I'm going to tell you. Uh, uh, Travel freely. I told Maria that you said that because you have said that before. And she told me, You need to stop, Miko. You're just too nice. You're too nice. Okay, Loss, here you go. I'll ask you again. Of course, she Loss understands me. Okay, what is the biggest difference in the Philippines that you have been or experienced from the free? Oh, okay. Thank you, Loss. Really, thank you. The biggest difference. And I hope this is a good answer. I didn't get to enjoy it the last time lost. I didn't get to enjoy it. And, I, it, it, and if I did, it was basically videoing everything so everybody else can enjoy it. I think this time around, I got to absorb and see and enjoy and embed myself in the culture and really have fun. The beauty I lost was so much more beautiful uh, when you actually enjoy it and enjoying the fucking pussy, bro. <laughs> enjoying that ass that you get here. Holy shit. It is it fucking good. But... I mean, when you're always the alpha, it's no fun. You know, when I was getting some ass in Colombia, oh, I was like, man, I didn't, don't move. I'm like, yes, baby, I won't move. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, let me see. Uh, after he did see in Colombia tips too. <laughs> uh, no, but lost. I hope that answered. And an all-around balance, it's a lot better now. I get to see things more now, even places that I didn't go to that I didn't really care before because I was always following that path lost. That, you got to do this, Nico. You got to go to the Kawasan Falls. You got to go to Bahal. You got to. And they're always. And again, I understand why people did it lost, but it just was no fun because I was doing what everybody else is doing. This one right here, I'm doing a lot more doing just not even knowing what I'm doing. Mm. Ava says, you seem more relaxed. This time I notice you pick up on things quick. Ava, I'm going to tell you, because you know why? Because I, I, I've, I've gotten away after that advice you told me, and you were telling me, hey, man, just keep doing you. Uh, and, it, you know, and other people have given me the same. But after we spoke, I, stuck, I took a step back, and then I saw the relationship that you have with your brother-in-law. Uh, and I realized, Ava, that this, there's more to the Philippines if you give it the fair shake. You know, and a lot of people are really not out. Most are, but not all are out to get you. You know, 
And uh, after talking to you, you're like, Nico, go out there and enjoy it. Be safe out there. Be careful. And ever you gave me some really good advice. And I really, it takes me some time. And I really do take the advice. I take Vicky's advice. I take everybody lost, uh, Popeye. I take Travel Freely, yours. I mean, I, you know, Mike Ross. I take Mitchell. I really do. It just took me a little while, uh, Ava, to realize that there is, and, and I used to say this a lot, Ava, but I never really, I, I, I thought I practiced it. There is YouTube and there is real life. And I love real life. YouTube is fun, but nah, you have now traveled more and more experience traveling. It, you know, Loss, it's exactly it. I, I expanded, like you said, I think you said the words, expand your horizons, Nico. Use the Philippines as a stepping stone and just go. And I think that's what happened, Loss. I think what happened with the right kind of people and you surround yourself with good people that give you good advice and they send you in the right direction. And again, Loss, I have nothing against these tourist attractions. I just don't like them. Like the places that I go now, wait till this weekend, Loss, and wait till the videos that I'm uploading. I found these places through just riding around in scooters, just having a good fucking time. And and I say it on my videos a lot, Loss. I go, I don't know where I'm at because the description on my phone will tell me when I get to Wi-Fi what area I was in. So when I find out what area I, I was in, I go back to my videos and I tag the video where I was. Because uh, lost, I'm just having a fucking field day with how much shit that I do here. And dude, this is just one place. If I could afford it, if I was like a high rolling like uh, uh, channel and people were like contributing and, and, and sharing to me, man, I wish I, would've, I was one of those people that people say, yo, I want to contribute to your channel. I want to send you to these places. Bro, I want you to do video of your way. And you go, man, I would do that shit. But I am not that big of a person. You know, I want to just show a little window of what I do. And you see, uh, I always go on vacation from the end of August until the middle of November. Well, Noah, that's usually when I start doing vacations. Uh, uh, Noah, if it interests you, I don't know your nationality. If it interests you, uh, I will tell you. Uh, let me know the places you're going. If you don't mind the company, I'll put some funds together. And, and again, you do your thing. Go out there and meet some women. Again, I don't know if you're going with a wife or family, then of course I wouldn't go because you're going with family. I want you to have fun. Uh, if it doesn't bother you, then of course I'd be like, hey, I don't mind being a good wingman and, and exper experiencing things and, and even things that I've done and, and send you in the right direction. Again, anything I can help. I may be wording it wrong, but uh, let me know. Let me know. Reach out to me in my email. I, I would definitely, I'll make, I'll give you ideas. If you go on along with the family, I'll give you some ideas. Uh, just go out there and experience it, Noah. Enjoy it, bro. Enjoy it. I'm telling you, you may get to a, play, a time and a place that you're not going to be able to. You know what I mean? Just enjoy it and have fun, my man. And again, any way that I can help, honestly speaking, you let me know, you know? And you'll have people in the background saying, what makes me go? I'm not an expert by any means. But I can tell you something. One thing that I do share is realism. I share the real shit of what I deal with every day. And it's something that I that everybody deals with, but nobody wants to talk about. And I, I will, I will uh, avoid, help you avoid any headaches. I mean, it, it may still happen, but I can at least give you a freaking the warning signals in, or any place you can go to have a good fucking time. Speak of the devil. I was just talking about Scott a little while ago. And this is the gentleman right here that follows me and says, all these great things and uh and how you doing scott you and the family i hope you're here in the philippines if not i know you're taking care of mom taking care of the family and you're a good man and thank you so much for coming in always and showing that support in my channel i do look at uh you're, you know i do look at your comments and and thank you man you humble me way too much i think it's I, i'm way too much humbled by how much you guys and how nice you guys are you know and again remember Unfortunately, if you do leave a comment, give me a few seconds, 20 seconds, I think it's what, 15, 20 seconds, it'll pop up on my screen because it is streaming on. Uh, it, it takes a little more time. Uh, guys, I'm going to be in here for five and a half more minutes. Uh, let me know. I mean, I could go as long as you guys want. I uh, just don't wait two minutes before because I'll probably uh, go through something else. If you guys want me to stay longer, let me know ahead of time and I'll stay a little longer. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going for the hour mark because I don't want to bore you guys. It is Friday night and I have consideration. Uh, I am not a crazy channel. I'm not a troll channel. So you're not going to find that much excitement from my channel if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking to interact and ask questions and, 
and just all around, you know, have a place that you can relax and have a good time without being uh, overly uh, disrespectful and rude, uh, you guys are welcome to, to enjoy. And I'll stay as long as you guys want. So you guys let me know. All right, says I'm good. We will be home in Cebu in 20. Well, you know what? If you don't, you don't have to tell me, Scott. Uh, I'll reach out to you. And uh, I'm not going to ask you right now. Uh, well, you can if you want. But let me know what part of Cebu you will be in. And it would be my pleasure to come by and meet you before the holidays and shake your hand and say hi to the family, my man. Uh, and, and, and again, uh, I'm not going to take away because you're going to be here on the 21st. So that means you're going to be preparing with family. But even if I rode by and said hi on the scooter, my man, go by, say hi, shake your hand and uh, say hi to your son and your wife and, you know, and then get out of here. Be like, hey, I'll talk to you in a few days. See you later. It, it would be my pleasure, my friend. It would be. I got to still meet Ed. I don't even understand. I think Ed said he lives in Dumaguete is what he says. So I don't understand. I never understand what the hell Ed says. Guys, in case you're going to, you know, in the background, the peanut gallery, not in this, not now, but later, I do know where Ed lives. I'm just fucking around. I'm just saying, you know, somebody was saying in the last show that I don't understand what Ed's saying. I understand everything he says. It's not stream, yet, Nico. It's a combination of, of the fantastic Philippines internet and you slow, your slow ass brain. <laughs> You know, I can always say that I can always count on Popeye because I have never met a bigger fucking prick in my life. But, you know, I, I love him. I hate him. Uh, I never heard him lie. If he's lied, please show me the evidence. I want to see video. <laughs> uh, Mactan, all right. Perfect. All right. Uh, I would love to catch up, mate. Uh, all right. Deal. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Uh, let me know uh, when you're settled in. 21st, that means you're coming here a, a day or two before Christmas. It would be my pleasure to uh, to swing by. Again, dude, it's it'll be quick. We can always see. I'm pretty sure you're going to be here for a minute. Uh, swing in, say hi. Shake your hand, brother. Mark Town is probably 30 minutes away from where I'm at. Uh, I will check exactly, but... Uh, I will definitely let you know. And you guys, uh, who was it? Mahiko asked me a question about the almond milk. I did not get the answer, but that's how much I actually care what you guys ask. I actually still have that in my mind. Uh, you know, I don't care if you have five, 10 million followers and you have thousands of freaking comments. It's a, it's a, it's a, content provider's job to go through and, and, and listen to the questions and um, provide uh, the feedback. And, and my feedback, Mahiko, I'm sorry that I haven't really gotten to it. I don't have that answer as of yet, but I will have the answer on uh, the next show, which I'll probably do in the morning real quick. It'll be afternoon in the U.S. It'll be morning here. I'll have an answer for you because I gave you my word and it matters to me that you asked that honest question. I know you weren't joking, and I'll get you the answer that you need. So just in case, um, guys, if you ever have a question that you would like an answer to, or you hey, Nico, I want you an honest opinion, I will love to share my honest opinion, you know? I see. Hey, Scott from Popeye in the Philippines. Hope all is well. And okay, uh, he says, okay, we land on the 21st, mate. Grand Wall of the Country Homes. Nico, on uh, for, it's a subdivision. Hey, listen, if you want me to meet you at the airport and do a video and screen for you with pom poms, you let me know, Scott. I'll say, hey, it's Scott in the Philippines. <laughs> uh, marijuana is now legal in Minnesota, but the only uh, place to buy it is right now it's in a Native American land where I'm making a kill. Well, I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to tell you, Noah, uh, quality is important. I can't smoke it, Noah, because it it does something to me that's not good. It's not. It's not. not it's not a death thing. It's just. It's not. It, but I think it, any way that uh, that that it uh, that you you can make it happen, and it's profitable, and whether it's good or bad, as long as the quality is good, I don't care if you can uh, get it the right way or the wrong way. As long as you get it. <laughs> 
that's another thing I want to do is I want to go to freaking uh, Albuquerque, Mexico, and I want to visit the Native American uh, plantations that I used to visit when I was young. One of the biggest things that I've enjoyed here is being able to clear my thoughts and my mind and do things, you know. Hey, you know what? Anything that enhances, if you can put money away, it enhances a better, uh, what, uh, what is that word, Noah? That uh, it betters your financial stability. Make it happen. Guys, one thing that I learned here after seeing all this stuff and wondering why the hell I was even, like, even gave it a thought is time. Noah, do what makes you Noah, you know? Be careful, you know, don't, don't do anything crazy. And so I, everybody tell, tells me the same thing. Have fun, you know, enjoy. Put your money away, have a good time. I don't give a shit if you smoke it, you breed it. I don't give a shit what the hell you do with it. You, you cook with it, do no, you know. You won't know nobody nothing. Have a great time. And that's what I'm doing here, having a great time. I owe nobody a fucking explanation, nothing. I have fun with what I'm doing. And if people don't like it, they can live by curious with what I do because nobody does it. You know, nobody does it and they can. You know, this is just a perfect example of get her done. Get her done. I say, boy, I say, boy, get her done. Let me see. Uh, yes, all well from Scott. If you meet a grandma, uh, if you meet, at, all right, I'll let you know. I'll let you know, Ava. I'll send you a message. Uh, <laughs> Ava, I think, I think if you have the time, uh, I definitely will meet you too. Uh, Scott, Scott's freaking awesome, Ava. He's, he's Australian, takes really good care of his mom, has a wife that's really been uh, has a son. He is so big now. Jesus, my God, I remember when he was born. Uh, and that's that, that makes me old, Scott. And Ava, I know I, I know you got me. You and Kuya, you and Kuya got me. See, this is the thing, Ava, when people are good people and they do good things to people, people are there for people. See, it, and, and nothing could be said by anyone else, Ava, that they, like, I don't see you saying that about anybody else. That means you saw something in me. Uh, that you you appreciate that you like and and that is important that means more to me you know what i mean it's you know i see people always say nico thanks you i don't think i'm better than nobody but i will tell you something that i have that many people don't have is genuineness you know i'm realistic genuine and honest you know i don't know if that's all combined in one you can but if you met Abba, I can tell you, Abba's not the kind of person that ever tell you, bro, I got you, if he don't got you. If Abba, Abba's not a person, he's a private person. And he took the time to freaking reach out to me and say, I'd like to meet you. And, then, and again, my personal thing of Abba, who the hell's calling me? Hold on, guys. Who the hell's calling me? Oh, it's fucking Malik. Uh, I can tell you right now, I was not a person to be like, he's a private person. So it meant a lot for him to say, hey, I'd like to meet you, dude. And then when he left, he was like, hey, be careful out there, Nico. You know, text, you know, message me when you get back there. And then and let me tell you something. When you meet Ava and you meet his brother-in-law, that guy doesn't fucking, he's right. That guy doesn't fucking smile for shit. And for him to ask Ava to say, hey, I hope Nico's doing okay. How's he doing? And smile. That means a lot. That Because people, you can't fake being real. And I don't fake a fucking thing. So, again, these are things I share with you. Not to fucking toot my own horn. People like real people. You know what I mean? And, it, it, and that kind of shit goes a long way with me. And I like that. You know? Hold on one second. Let me see what he says. Okay, mate. I think we land around 2.15 p.m. Uh, uh, okay. Airlines Nico, we leave here at 12.35. December, land around 5 a.m. Uh, 
All right, uh, let me take a screenshot of this. Hold on, let's see. Can I take a screenshot of that? Hey, Alva, do me a favor. Can you take a screenshot of that, what Scott said, and uh, and then send it to me? Not right now, but send it to me. Keep it around and send it to me on a, uh, on a, on my messenger. Let me see. Scott, no, Biggie is not back in Cebu. He is working. Uh, <laughs> Nico's vibrators going off. Bro, why you got to throw my shit out there, Lost? <laughs> I ain't got no shame. I mean, I, I, I mean, damn, how do I fucking fight that one? I mean, shit. I mean, I ain't got a strap on, but I got a vibrator. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, I got a cock ring. That's not wrong with that. <laughs> Hold on. She just texting, so this is what I do. Okay. She just texts you, right? And she goes, What are you doing? I said, I'm fucking live right now. Okay. So What's this one? Ava lost. <laughs> I'm only five eight. Uh, yeah, no. Let me tell you, Scott. He is working. Uh, Biggie's working. He may be here. I haven't spoken to him, Scott. But if I get any wind of it, I'll let you know. Uh, Scott, I'll make a deal. If I can make that visit happen, even if it is just a meet and greet and swing by, it would be my pleasure to swing by and say hi. Ava's near you. I'm near. And again, it's a meet and greet. It would be great if we can make that happen. Nothing crazy, but it would definitely be great. Uh, we will catch up uh, with him later. We are there for wow, four weeks. Jesus, freak God, hell yeah. Plenty of time. Like I said, even if we just go in and say, hey, what's going on? How you doing, bro? That's something. Again, because don't forget, uh, uh, Scott, after Christmas comes New Year's. There's a lot of planning. You're there for, you know, you're there for a month. Yes, but there's a lot of planning. So even if the even if it is just swinging by and say, "Hey, Scott, hey, how you doing?" Boom, and then we go, we go, you know. Uh, let me see. I love this. I love to pronounce this. Uh, I'll send it if you. Hey, Ava, take your time. Even if you send it in a week, <laughs> it's it's good. Thank you for doing it. Yeah, he says, "Madam uh, Salam, uh, Okay, I'll send it to you. And all good, Nico. Of course, Scott, I know. But. Ah, damn, I went over. All right, guys, I got two and a half minutes, and that's my promise. I said an hour. We've been having a great conversation. I want. I don't want to take any more of you guys' this time. So if you guys want to say bye to each other, two and a half minutes goes by really quick. Abba, it's always a pleasure. I hope you've been doing good. I know I haven't seen you in a while because I know you're having a good time and, and getting ready for Christmas. I, I heard, I heard Abba, that you got me a really nice Christmas present. I mean, I don't know her name. But that's all right, bro. As long as she's got long black hair, it looks half decent. And she looks good with the lights off. I'm, I'm more than happy. <laughs> I, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful, Abba. <laughs> Abba said he's going to find me a good marriage material kind of woman. I said, you got a better chance of making me go into church and seeing God. Lost. He's going to work. Peace, mofo. What is it? Peace in the Middle East, he says. Uh... I got to tell you, you guys have been awesome. Thank you very, very much for coming in. You guys have always respectful moderators. You fucking rock the hell with what comes in. You bag it, in, you bag it and tag it, baby. Bag it and tag it. Uh, and I think that's it. You guys have a good night. I am actually getting a bottle of water right now because I, I haven't drank water. And moving the ice around because I actually made ice and getting ready to make sure my ice is full. But when I return, I like my ice. Uh, and I think that's it. I don't know if that makes any part of the conversation. But thank you, Scott. God bless you and your family. Alba, family, God bless. Uh, Big E, Popeye, uh, Lost, uh, Travel Freely. Uh, anyone else? Uh, let me go down the line. You know me, guys. I don't like you. Stay frosty, always staying frosty, uh, big man, always. Uh, anybody else? I think that is it. Oh, Noah, any questions, anything? If I, and Juarez, guys, thank you so much. Uh, Noah, any questions, any way I can help, please let me know. Uh, again, nowadays, you never, this is not being disrespectful. Uh, nowadays, in uh, Hash TV, thank you for coming in. 
I, I don't know if it's a, it's a legit thing, but uh, I'll, Scotty, thank you for coming in. Um, but Noah, if you have any more questions, please let me know. Uh, God bless you all. It'd be my pleasure to direct your guide you any which way possible. What I don't know, I will ask you professionals out here that have been here longer than me. Uh, Noah, so you guys take care. And I will catch all you mofos in the next Nico's experience. God bless, man. God bless.